In this video, I'm going to explain how to use NPV function in Excel to calculate the NPV of a cash flow. There are two main ways of calling NPV function in Excel. The first, the first method is clicking in this little FX here. You, when you click that, this window pops up and then you can search the NPV function in this box. You click go it finds the NPV function or you can go to the financial category here and you find the NPV function and then you click OK you can see three boxes here the first one is asking you to enter the rate this rate is the interest rate that you're going to discount your cash flow and you calculate the NPV you can write a number here which is going to be 10% or you can read this from a cell which I wrote 10% here then after you can click this one or you can enter uh, push enter and then after you can enter the cash flow you can enter the cash flow one by one in each of these values or you can you can uh, choose the cash flow as a series here then you then you click here if you enter everything correctly the npv is going to be calculated and be and uh, the function shows the NPV here. If something is wrong, you won't see a correct NPV here. Then I click OK. So as you can see, the NPV is calculated and shown. The other way to call the NPV function is you just uh, write equal sign and then write NPV uh, open parentheses. The first one and then you can see that this this thing pops up and uh, the first you need to enter rate you can you can write uh, a value here you can write 10 percent or you can read it from this cell and then you uh, write a comma and then you enter the values you start from here go all the way to the end of the cash flow and you close the parentheses so one thing that you have to be very careful using the NPV function in Excel as uh, NPV function in Excel always considers you are entering your cash flow from year one so if you have a cash flow that is happening at the present time at time zero at year zero you have to enter that manually NPV function in Excel does not consider any cash flow at time zero it doesn't understand the time zero NPV assumes that you are entering everything from year one so you can always double check the result of this NPV function if you calculate the present value of each of these payments the summation of that discounted cash flow should be equal to this net present value let's quickly calculate that let's say we want to calculate the present value of these payments the first one equals uh, $50,000 divided by 1 plus interest rate I put a dollar sign behind the column to fix this when I'm going to apply to the other cells and power year so as we can see here this is the present value of this fifty thousand dollars of investment i apply that to the other cells so the summation of these discounted cash flow these present values should be exactly same as the NPV that we calculated using the NPV function in Excel which you can see they are exactly the same so let's work on another example that has the cash flow at present time so as you can see in this investment we are going to have $60,000 of investment at present time 
and also $50,000 of investment at year one. This investment is going to yield uh, the annual uh, income of $24,000 a year from year two to year 10. Let's see how we can calculate the NPV of these, uh, these cash flow using the NPV function in Excel. So as you can see here, because we are going to have a payment at present time, we need to enter that payment manually. So what we do is we write the equal sign and then we add this payment which is happening at the present, uh, present time or year zero. And then after we use the NPV function for the rest of the uh, cash flow. I write NPV, I read the interest rate from here, then I select the cash flow starting from the year 1 all the way to the year 10. Closing, I close the parentheses and I press enter. So this is the NPV using the NPV function of this cash flow. Let's double check our result. Let's see if this, this is correct or not. So I'm going to calculate the present value of all these payments and then the summation should be exactly same as this NPV using the NPV function. So present value equals this payment. It is happening at the present time, so it doesn't need to be discounted. So it is equal the same amount. Present value of this $50,000 equals $50,000 divided by open parenthesis one plus interest rate I fix the column to make sure it doesn't change to make sure interest rate cell doesn't change when I'm going to apply it to the other cells I close the parentheses and power year so this is the present value of this fifty thousand dollars happening at year one so I apply this to the rest of cash flow and the summation the summation of this discounted cash flow should give me the exact same value as the NPV that I used the NPV function in Excel as we can see these are exactly the same so these are two ways of calculating NPV using uh, Excel and uh, how we can double check the other one.